Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a very popular brand. This is the Mask C. You actually see this mask on a lot of celebrities, mainly the surgical mask. But today we're going to be reviewing their KN95s. We ordered the floral and the clay variety pack, but the clay ones are no longer available for sale. So we're going to be looking at the floral variety K95 mask listing. They have a rating of 5 out of 5 with 248 reviews. These are a little bit on the pricier side. They cost $39 for a 10 pack, making them $3.90 each. If you scroll down, you can see the different prints as well as the standard that they follow. They follow the GB26. 26 2019 standard it also states that these are a five layer mask and that they are perfect for running or working out so let's go ahead and open these up so as you guys can see they come in a bag and the bag is just a resealable bag so as you guys can see well i don't think you guys can see it has it really small down here these masks are made in China. So this is how they look. This is the clay one and this is the floral print one. They both do have a very nice silk outer layer. The colors are really nice and it's very fashionable. Let's take a look at these straps. As you guys can tell right here, one of the straps is actually longer than the other one. So this one is longer than this one. They're not the same size. Maybe the way that they're welding the ear loops is not even. So not the most sturdy nose wire, it is a little flimsy. And this is how it looks from the inside. The inside is actually a little rough. So these are a bifold mask. So what I'm gonna do is flatten out the nose wire in order to be able to adjust it correctly to my nose. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but as I'm playing with it, it does have a lot of fuss. There's a lot of fuss phrasing out. So let's go ahead and try it on and see how they fit. So these ear loops are a little tight. They are making my ears go to the front a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy. But I do feel like they're not going to be the most comfortable to wear them for a long period of time. As I'm doing a seal check, I do feel a lot of leakage on the bottom portion of the mask. I was actually able to get a good seal, even though the nose wire is a little flimsy. I just do feel a lot of leakage on the bottom of the mask. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for air flow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 98.09% and had a pressure drop of 15.6 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.36% and had a pressure drop of 18.3 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.43% and had a pressure drop of 15.6 millimeters of water. So we're back now, and as you guys saw from the TSI results, these tested very well in terms of filtration efficiency. However, the pressure drop was a little bit on the higher side. Although these are within the K95 requirements, I don't think these are gonna be perfect for running or working out as they do claim on their listing due to the high pressure drop. And in terms of the construction quality, they were okay. There's definitely some room for improvement, but the design and the aesthetic is definitely a plus. But I don't really think it justifies for the 
price as they are a little bit on the pricier side, you can definitely find more affordable K95s on the market with a much lower pressure drop. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator, please look at the description box down below. We're going to be having our address along with our website which is acumen.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.